the greater good. Hey everybody, Greater Good Mining here. So I've been on a long road trip. You guys might have seen if you've seen some of my other videos or my tweets. Uh, I just got back and I got back to some good news. It looks like Caspa is crowdfunding a campaign for a tier one crypto exchange. So they are saying um, this just started. It looks like well, at least it was just posted on Caspa's website uh, yesterday. Caspa.org, um, July 29th. Crowdfunding started. So they're crowdfunding. Uh, they need 30,000 US dollars in the form of Caspa or USDT to get a tier one exchange to list them. Um, that'll cover the listing fee and it looks like some marketing uh, stuff from the exchange. So the, um, they say the funds gathered through this campaign are intended to fulfill the listing fee terms set by the centralized exchange. Um, they will use these funds at its discretion to carry out a comprehensive marketing campaign and, uh, and I guess list, list Caspa. So um, if you want to contribute, they list uh, the Caspa donation wallet on their um, caspa.org site and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it's also on my Twitter page. If you guys uh, are following me on Twitter, you know, check it out. Um, I've got it listed here too. Um, it's, e it's easy enough to find. So um, you can donate straight to the Caspa wallet, or you could, I don't know why you would, if you're a Caspian, um, you should use Caspa to donate. But hey, we're not going to you know, complain. Nobody's going to complain if you send USDT over uh, Ethereum network or something like that. Um, it's just you know, if you can, if you can spare a few bucks, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate some to try and help get this uh, Caspa listed on the Tier One Exchange because you guys know I love this project. Um, so, crowdfunding campaign represents a crucial step for Caspa's use case. Um, this will further extend Caspa's reach into global markets, providing exposure to a wide range of investors, users, developers, and cryptocurrency enthusiasts like you and me. Um, this increased visibility could accelerate Caspa's adoption rate, placing it in a more advantageous position within the rapidly evolving landscape of digital assets. Um, and, you know, some people might not like the idea of uh, buying in, uh, for centralized exchanges and, um, you know, if you're through the, like a true um, cypherpunk, you probably want to use a decentralized exchange. But, um, I mean, I hate to say it, we all know liquidity and um, exposure comes from these ex uh, centralized exchanges so anyway um this is this is pretty exciting um it's good for caspa it's good for crypto um it does need more exposure uh and you know it's it's got a ways to go um but hey you know what one of my favorite things to do is speculate wildly so um here's the list of exchanges let's speculate wildly um i'm gonna i'm gonna run off the list of known caspa exchanges okay so kucoin that was a big one that was somewhat recent mxc global um huge one coinx gate.io uh digifinex um i can't even pronounce this one zegex uphold trade over i like that one i use that one too um bitget txbit lbank by defi uh, and bitpanda so those are the ones that caspa's listed on um the big ones i've used uh, Trade over KuCoin. Um, those are some the two main ones off this list that I've used a lot. Um, but then we've got some other ones. Um, Gemini. We have it's not listed on Gemini. It's not listed on Bybit. Not listed on Coinbase or Binance, obviously. Um, OKX and Kraken. Um, so if you guys uh, have any other ones that you think you might um, might be considered tier one exchanges it's funny when you when you try to find out what they consider to be tier one exchanges it's kind of um it's kind of a crapshoot you know coin gecko um they list some of the ones i talked about um coinmarketcap.com they list some of the ones i talked about but you guys tell me what you think um comment be uh, below and tell me what you think um the exchanges are that that might you know be listed um, or that Caspa might be listed on um, I don't know for sure which one I I really don't know um, I really doubt it's Coinbase or Binance um, those are huge and I doubt it would be just 30k that they would require uh, I guess my best bets probably would be like OKX or maybe Gemini I don't really know I really don't know what do you guys think comment below tell me what you think um, in the comment section um, so there's one more thing I wanted to go over. Yeah. 
Um, if you guys want to check out my Discord, chat with uh, a lot of buddies in here and try to like help it. We all try to help each other out with the KS zeros, KS ones, KS twos. Um, talk about Caspa. Talk about all kinds of different stuff with crypto. We talk about FPGAs. Um, I have a whole section for FPGAs in there too. GPU mining, CPU mining. I don't have as much people chatting there yet because I don't really do that. Um, mostly it's Ice River stuff. You guys see see my videos. I've got a million of uh, the Ice River videos. So anyway, um, yeah. If you uh, you know found this video useful at all, um, if you you know like it, I'd appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, maybe follow me on Twitter, and now follow me on Discord. And I'll leave the links in the description uh, for my Twitter and my Discord. I'll leave a link in the description for this crowdfunding page so you guys can check it out. Um, check out taskcaspa.org in general. Um, they've got a lot of good information on there. And uh, if you can you know spare a few bucks, um, maybe consider donating to the Caspa crowdfunding. Um, nothing I say is financial advice. I just want to <laughs> say that one more time. Uh, and uh, don't forget, keep it decentralized for the greater good. The greater good.